All right, so once I've imported all of my media into Final Cut Pro, uh, I can start doing some basic edits to start laying out my rough edit. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is click this button to create a new project, okay? And sometimes it'll start off by just giving you these automatic settings, and that's fine in a lot of ways, but sometimes if you want more control, you can click custom settings and it'll bring up some more options like, you know, your format, like if you know you filmed in 4K, then maybe you would change it to that in uh, different frame rates and stuff like that. So just pay attention to what you're filming in and then set your project up accordingly. So now that I have my timeline down here, I want to get some clips on there. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scrub through my clips, okay, and uh, find the little pieces that I want to put in. So maybe um, I want to start here. So this little red line, I'm going to scrub through to where I want it to start and then hit the letter I on the keyboard. This sets an end point. And then I'm going to just move it to where I want it to, be, uh, to end and hit O. That sets an out point. And then from there, I can just drag it down. There's a couple of different ways to drag it down. Um, you can use these buttons right here to kind of uh, add it to your timeline. It'll append it to the end of the, the timeline. It'll insert it in between two clips. Just depends on what you want to do. Uh, the other thing that you can do is just select the audio or the video for that clip. And so I click on this drop down right here and right now I have all selected which means it's going to bring down both the audio and the video but if I wanted just the video and no audio then I would choose video only and if I wanted the audio and no video then I would choose audio only so because I'm going to be editing this to some music I'm just going to choose video only because I don't want any of the clip audio okay and then I can just keep setting in and out points and uh, build my project. So there's another one, I'm just dragging it down. There's another one. Okay, so you can kind of get the idea. And you can use clips almost infinitely. Uh, you don't, once you set an in and out point, it's not set to that forever. Um, I can, maybe I want this part of the clip now and see how it sets a new uh, in and out point here. All right, so the next thing I want to do is add some music to my timeline. So I'm going to go up to my audio event, and there's my music, and I'm just going to drag it down underneath. So one thing to pay attention to is if you look closely right here on the timeline, you'll see this little line connecting the audio to the video. And so if I drag that clip, then the audio kind of sticks with it. Sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes it's kind of annoying. And so there's a couple of ways that you can get uh, – around that one way is if I add what's called a gap clip so edit insert generator gap then I'm just gonna select that hit control D on the keyboard and then uh, if this allows me to change the duration of the clip and so I'm just gonna make it one frame and then there's that and then I can just move my audio right to that one frame Let's zoom in here. So now you can kind of see that it's just this one frame of black, which is pretty much nothing. And then the music's always uh, going to be attached to that. And then I can move freely with all my other clips. Okay. So in order to build your rough edit, the thing that you want to do is make sure that you set your in and your out points on each clip and then bring those down to your timeline uh, as well as with your music. And uh, that's it.